All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to sync up um, your Valhem state, your server, your world to Google Drive um, every five minutes. Um, I'll show you how it works. You can customize it a little bit more to your liking. Um, I'm running my server on an Ubuntu node that I've got from Linode, it's just a VPS, and I'm logged in as root. So let me just demonstrate it first and then I'll show you how to do it. So essentially, um, in my previous video, I'll link it, I showed these three folders. Steam is the folder that has the Steam command line. Valheim server is basically the software used to require for the server. And then Valheim persistent is the directory that holds my admin list, my world, that's basically any state in my server. It's basically in this folder. Um, I put it here for a reason. So what you can do is, I mean, let's just take a look at it. This uh, directory basically is getting synced with my Google Drive. I already have been using Google Drive for many years now. I pay some money. It's around 100 gigabytes. This whole entire thing, if I do du dot, it's only around 22 me uh, megabytes. So it's extremely, extremely tiny. Um, I just synced all of it. So let me just demonstrate you how it works. So if I go to admin list right now, text, and let's say add line here, you can see that this thing still has Ooga Booga in it, only one thing. But if I had cat admin list, as you just saw, I have two things in there. So the command basically, I already have it saved here, is I do r clone sync. r clone sync, this specific directory, balance persistent, this is my r clone, this is the source and then syncs whatever is in this directory to this specific, my personal G drive in this specific path, cloud backup slash Valheim state. I'm saying specific a lot. So you press enter. Um, I think it already did it because it was five minutes. Yeah, so it already did it. Um, my, my cron job just run it, but I'll just show you that it takes like no time at all. It takes like two seconds. Um, and now my stuff has been synced. So this is really important because you know, you're playing on your server, let's say your node crashes, and or the data goes down it's unrecoverable you at least want to have your data backed up in at least one place you've probably spent hours making your server look your world look beautiful so you want to sync it so um let me just show you now the mechanics of it so the way that you would set up our clone is you basically just do app get install i'm on root our clone if you're not on root you can use a uh, sudo and then put in your password and then this will get you our clone. Our clone is a tool meant to just synchronize remote, synchronize your files with uh, a cloud provider. So you do our clone. And then what you do is you want to do our clone config. You want to say new remote, press N. And you can see my current remotes right here. Personal G drive is my current remote. Um, I already set this up, but I'll set it up again for you. So N for new remote. You want to call this wherever you want. So I'll call this personal G drive two. Um, and then you want to do is you want to select from the options. I, in my case, it's option number seven. You can either type seven or you can type drive. Um, let me just do seven. Um, you want to leave the client ID, client secret blank. You don't want to use auto config. And then basically you want to go to this browser and it's going to give you um, basically a sign on page where you saw it line with, sign in with your email. It's, it's going to be OAuth single sign on. It's going to then give you an authentication code and then you want to paste it into here. So let me just go ahead and do it right now on a separate screen because I can't show you my stuff. Okay, log in, you hit allow, I get the code, I put the code in. And then it'll basically ask you one more time, yes, is this okay? You write yes. And let me just go ahead and clear, whoops, clear clone config. You're then going to see, okay, that did not work. Anyway, it still looks pretty good. You're going to have personal G drive too. So then you basically set this up. So I'm going to go ahead and delete uh, D2 because I already have one set up, but now you should have your personal G drive. And then once you have that set up, remember that this is super important. You then want to make your command. So in my case, it was just going to be, I, let me just show you on my text editor. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, R clone sync. This is a directory, and then this is personal G drive. Again, this is the same thing as your remote path. Your name is remote, and you want to do colon, and then this is the path in your Google Drive. You can just hit new folder. 
file backups, file on state. You can just go to your drive, new, whatever, and you can make this. So then I've set this up. I think you can also put a folder ID here, but I don't, I don't know. You can just put this, it's a little easier to read. And then this will run it. So that does it one time. If you want to do it um, every five minutes, then you want to just do cron tab like this. And then you want to add a line to it. Um, asterisk slash five, every five minutes, run this command. Cool. So that will sync up your data with Google Drive. It's only 22 megabytes. Um, cool.